Well, hello guys. Welcome to my channel. Now we are playing Red Dead Redemption. Well, we are on the way to capture a bad guy. Well, they have placed a bounty on his head, so we are there to hunt him. Hopefully, let's see what he is up to. Before we go there, we need to weapon is in poor condition. Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll dry up. What? See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing of me. Eh, uh, I know. It sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly. Little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you? No. Huh? I wish. No. I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen. If you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. But I don't understand. Why do you need these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. What? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. It... Yeah, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic. I got a little distracted in between. Yeah. Now we got to hunt that bad guy. Actually, it's not a main mission, it's a side mission, but I must say, in this game, the side missions are also interesting. I hope he's not fearful. Actually, I like the sound of rain in this game. Actually, in real life, it's 
not raining mostly lately. So okay. yeah, at least in the game it's raining. I'm happy. Oh no 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 no. no. Almost here, Bia. Yep. Dead in. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me. But you won't beat me, bounty hunter. This could get bumpy. You shot me. You didn't even have a decency to do it right. You duel a man and you ought to put him down. Not knock him out and tie him up. You got no decency, bounty hunter. got me in my younger days. I would have put one in the middle of your eyes before you even blinked. You ain't nothing special. And you ain't gonna stay sharp for very long. None of us do. I wish you killed me back there. A real man would have killed me. I kind of regret talk, not killing you. Hey, he looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? I can manage him fine. Take me. 
me in. Damn you! That's Big Josh, all right. Hey, he looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? Got Brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. Forget about me. Now, leave me to my peace. You hear? I want peace. Pay's right here. You make you work for it? He dueled me, so I'd say that's a yes. That's fine.
Hey there, welcome. stirred the hornet's nest. Interested in a good read? I'll have one. Catch you some other time. Bankers and big wigs. Yep. Come on. Come on, pal. Come on, mister. It won't take long. How about we skip the small talk, eh? I didn't know this would happen in this game. He just tried to rob us. Just get out of my way. Get out! Right now! You want me to put a bullet in your skull? Hello there, pleased to see you. Enjoy your destination.
got my leg blown off. Morning. Hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. And I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. Been a mite suspicious about the new faces in town. Rhodes is welcoming, to be sure, but we can't just let all types have their way. Just holler when you spot a winner. Okay, well, maybe some other time.
A charade you are playing dressed as the law. Hey, I got some loan money. Put it in the box, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> ah, Mr. Morgan. Okay, Mr. Swanson. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Always good to see you. Hi there, Arthur. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine, for now. Yep, should buy us a bit of time, I hope. You think they're off our back? And when you figure out what that is, you'll know what the hell we're doing. It feels like we're running, running, killing, and running some more. Listen, these are tough times, of course, but now, this is when we have to be our strongest. We're gonna... Wow, that scared now I can fast travel here. Yes or no. Strong or weak. Which is it? Strong. Strong.
Hey, Dutch. Oh, it's good to have Micah back again, huh? I ain't so sure about that. Good to see you. Miss Karen, how you getting on? What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Actually, I love the way they are just uh, singing this story of the game. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? It's not, it's Hello, not just a style of mission. Everything What's is like connected. Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. 
Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. It, you know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're, you're a clown's idiot brother. I'll say it, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. him don't madden him he's turned idiot <laughs> killed our mother but it weren't his fault how'd you boys how'd you boys like a couple of bucks i bet you would one for each of you we're in the new trade of advertising which is an american art form about ensuring people buy the correct things i don't know one more dollar says give us half an hour what harm can we do in half an hour <laughs> go along now enjoy the money Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor thing. Ah. 
Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. Hey. I'll have one, Vince. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look at a gift horse. When I see a gift horse, I'm going to Oh, that's some Did strong stuff. Just keep it coming. Up. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. It's the major of opportunity. Now it's your opportunity. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Joe, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 oh,
don't think so. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Never to take up a career in what was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Hosea's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. Well, they are playing the I cunning game here. I business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Well, I guess it's time to wrap up this stream. Thanks for being here, guys. Let's take some rest. I'm sure the game is heating up. We don't know what will happen. Okay, see you all later. Until then, bye. Take care. Cheers.